Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make um, a soil profile model of the tundra. So here's one that we made, and as you can see that there's three distinct layers. There's the talic, the permafrost, and the active layer. And so the talic is the layer of year-round unfrozen ground that is usually located under shallow thermokarst lakes and rivers where the deep water does not freeze in the winter. Talics are usually found beneath large bodies of water and in places of intensified circulation of subterranean waters. A distinction is made between open talics, which extend through the entire thickness of the frozen layer, and closed or false talics, which are closed on the bottom. The permafrost is completely frozen at all times of the year and consists of gravel and finer material. And, uh, the topmost layer is called the active layer, which thaws each summer. When snow melts, water is usually able to percolate through the active layer, but it can't go through the permafrost. The active layer then becomes saturated and pools of water form on the surface. So as you can see at the station, there's going to be some uh, tubs of items to make your um, very own soil profile model. So you're going to have a cup. And at the bottom, you're going to first take the soil at the station, and this is going to act as the talic. Because it's very dense and it's usually very dark um, ground. And you want to put this as the majority of soil in your cup. So that should be enough. Then you're going to have your... Um, permafrost. So here you can see that we've added like baking soda and fake snow and gravel because it's usually made out of fine material and of gravel. So I'm going to take that and just layer it right on top. So it's basically like making a, a parfait if you want to call it that. So then you have your permafrost, and then the very top is going to be your um, active layer, and this has just like, uh, it's usually made out of more organic materials and humus, and then we've added some like fake snow into this just to try to make it look realistic, and so there it is. So here is your soil profile model of a tundra, and um, I hope you had fun.